Hey, hello guys. So welcome to another class of vectors. So in the previous class, we have already learned about addition and based on addition, subtraction of vectors, right? Addition and subtraction of vectors. And one more thing we have learned, multiplication of a scalar quantity with a vector quantity that gives you what that gives you a vector quantity right so all these things we have learned now we had left with the concept of what is this meaning of vector multiplied with a vector now what will it give the concept is that product of two vectors can be of two types one is top product one is cross product. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the meaning of these two things that we'll go on to learn in this class? Okay. So, first of all, we'll take up dot product. So, suppose there is one vector. Let me draw the vectors. There's one vector. This is second vector. Correct. Any two vectors in a space we already know can be translated and brought in a configuration tail together configuration right okay so right now these are any two general vectors a vector and b vector in a 2d plane okay so then let them make an angle of theta between them okay so the meaning of dot product is a vector and whenever we say dot product, we show it like this, dot, b vector. The meaning is modulus of a, modulus of b vector with cosine of the included angle theta. Okay. So what does it tell you? This is a scalar quantity, modulus of a. This also is a scalar quantity and cos theta is a real number, is a scalar quantity. So multiplication of three scalar quantity gives you a scalar quantity, right? So what does it tell you? Scalar, sorry, vector dot producted with a vector quantity gives you a scalar quantity. Okay, so now we'll see in terms of the Cartesian coordinates. Suppose is a one i cap or ax i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap any general a vector in 3d right and another general vector in 3d bx i cap plus b y j cap plus b z k cap by the way what do we call this a x a y a z it has a name like a x is called the component of a vector along x-axis. Similarly, a y is the component of a vector along y-axis and so on. Okay, so these are called what is the new term? Component. Component of a vector along x-axis. Okay, so general representation we have done. Now we'll do the dot product based on whatever we have learned in the previous slide. So, okay. AX I cap plus AY J cap plus AZ K cap dot BX I cap plus BY J cap plus BZ K cap. Now you have to multiply and see each of the terms. So first term AX I cap dot BX sorry BX also I cap plus ax i cap dot by j cap plus ax i cap <coughs> dot bz k cap correct plus a y j cap dot bx i cap plus a y j cap dot by j cap plus a y j cap dot bz k cap plus p 
plus what is it az k cap dot bx i cap plus az k cap dot by j cap plus az k cap dot bz k cap so what does it lead to so for this thing to resolve we have to learn one thing that is dot product of the unit vectors i is a unit vector i j k are three mutually perpendicular unit vectors right in 3d if 2d then it is only i and j mutually perpendicular vector, unit vectors so what if we do i dot i cap what will we get mod of i cap mod of i cap cos of angle between i cap and i cap is 0 degree and what is modulus of i unit vector it is 1 one cos of 0 is 1 so one so dot product of the same unit vector with itself is 1 what is the dot product of a unit vector with a mutually perpendicular unit vector let us see that mod of i cap mod of j cap now what is the angle between i and i cap and j cap it is 90 degree mutually perp perpendicular vectors so one one zero it is zero so when we use this concept and come to our previous slide and apply so i dot j this will turn to zero i dot k this will turn to zero j dot i zero j dot k zero k dot i zero k dot j zero and remaining i dot i that will be one so what is the final thing we are getting a vector dot b vector it will be giving ax bx plus a y b y plus a z b z which means that when we dot do the dot product of two vectors we do what we do the multiplication of the individual components that is we multiply x components we multiply the y components we multiply the z components and then we sum it up so that is called not product d is the dimension so i have summed it up from i equals to 1 to 3 generally we write in 3d or 2d right because we think in terms of space space can have three coordinates with time it will have four coordinates but it can be a n-dimensional space also so then you don't nomenclature it as x y z we can nomenclature it as individual coordinates as x1 x2 x3 till xn so if i is the i is the ith dimension uh, in a d-dimensional space then i equals to 1 to d summation a i b i is the dot product of a dot b okay now this dot product is of huge use how can we use it to our advantage correct let us understand it suppose there is a vector there is a vector a and now we want to find it or suppose we draw a line okay so this is a line this is one vector we want to find the projection of this vector on this line okay so for that what do we do first of all we have to know the direction of this line in this coordinate system right suppose this is the coordinate system a is the vector this is any general line we want to find 
what is the projection of a vector on this line so for that first we have to find the unit vector representing the direction of this line so you draw any vector and find out the unit vector along this line how to find the unit vector along a line we have already taught this right this is the line this is the angle with respect to the horizontal suppose alpha and suppose that the line unit vector along the line is b cap then what will be b cap tell me this is x this is y then what will be b cap cos alpha i cap plus sin alpha j cap right how to find the unit vector along a line making an angle alpha with positive x this we have already run if you have not seen please go back and check it huh? okay no issues so you can easily find the unit vector along a line now to find the projection of a vector what is the meaning of projection it is from point a to b what is the length it means if perpendicular to this line if we cast a shadow if we throw light beams how much is the length of the shadow it will cast that is the projection you must always know and this is basic trigonometric knowledge projection what is projection you should always know that right okay so what is this projection of a vector on this line that is ab how to find ab so to get ab what we have to do we have to first find the unit vector along the line and then we have to to dot product of the unit vector along the line with the vector itself so we have to do a dot a vector dot b cap so what will it give it will give mod of a mod of b cap cos of the angle between them angle between a vector and b cap let it be theta cos of theta so mod of a vector that is the length of the a line representing a vector on this space mod of b cap is 1 mod of a cos theta which is a mod of a vector means the length ac right ac cos theta what is ac cos theta it is the length ab which is nothing but projection of a vector on the line ab or whatever on the line better to write on the line along b cap okay because line can be shown by a direction only then the ends of the line are infinite okay projection of a vector on line along b vector can be given by the product of a with unit vector along the line or along the vector okay okay so now i'll see a bit more results with this dot product now a vector dot b vector mod a mod b cos of the angle between them which is same as mod of b vector mod of a vector cos of the angle between them which is same as b dot a therefore dot product is commutative very simple very simple then let's see how it behaves over addition dot b plus c so let us represent first in the cartesian coordinate x i cap plus b y j cap sorry 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 x i plus a y j plus a z k plotted with b plus c b plus c will give you what b x plus c x i cap 
प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी वाई जे कैप प्लस बी जेड प्लस सी जेड के कैप सॉरी डॉट प्रोडक्ट बी एक्स प्लस सी एक्स आई कैप प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी वाई जे कैप प्लस बी जेड प्लस सी जेड के कैप इज द रिजल्टेंट और द एडिशन ऑफ टू वैक्टर्स बी कैप प्लस बी वैक्टर प्लस सी वैक्टर राइट सो इन यू डॉट प्रोडक्ट वी नो दट द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग विल गेट मल्टीप्लाइड कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स लाइक द एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट्स विल गेट मल्टीप्लाइड ए एक्स बी एक्स प्लस सी एक्स देन ए वाई टू बी वाई प्लस सी वाई प्लस ए जेड इन टू बी जेड प्लस सी जेड राइट ओके सो इट गिवस यू वॉट ए एक्स बी एक्स देन प्लस ए वाई बी वाई प्लस ए जेड बी जेड दिस इज ओवर प्लस ए एक्स सी एक्स प्लस ए वाई सी वाई प्लस ए जेड सी जेड कर विच इज नथिंग बट दिस थिंग यू सी इट इज ए वैक्टर डॉट बी वैक्टर एंड दिस थिंग इफ यू सी इट इज नथिंग बट ए वैक्टर डॉट सी वैक्टर सो ए डॉट बी प्लस ए डॉट सी इज ए वैक्टर डॉट बी प्लस सी वैक्टर विच मीन्स द डॉट प्रोडक्ट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव ओवर एडिशन एंड सब्सट्रैक्शन सिम्बल्स सो इट हैज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑल्सो ओके okay so what are the important learnings important learnings are that and reverse learnings also that suppose a dot b is zero then what can we decipher from it we can directly decipher that mod of a mod of b cos theta is zero implies that theta equals to 90 degree since neither of it are zero vectors if they are Vectors with some magnitude, then mod of a and mod of b cannot be zero. Hence, cos theta has to be zero. Hence, theta has to be ninety degrees. So, whenever you see the dot product of two vectors is zero, it means they are perpendicular to each other. Okay. And also, uh, unit vector dotted with itself will always give you one. these are two very basic laws we have already learned right and when we are uh dot producting suppose and for any general n dimensional vector okay keep on hearing these things then only it will get otherwise it will get you will get confused about these things when you go into higher studies so suppose oh, because you think only in terms of space so you think about either three dimensions or two dimensions in a plane plane and space and with time at max 4 but don't restrict yourself to that suppose it's a n dimensional vector what does n dimensional vector mean n dimensional vector mean a vector a not x so over here we don't represent the axes as x y z we represent at 1 2 3 something like that so a1 okay x1 cap plus a2 x2 cap x3 cap and xn cap okay where x1 x2 x3 xn cap are all the unit vectors along different nth di n dimensions so when you do dot product of such n dimensional vectors in n dimensions a dot b how to represent it you multiply the individual components and then i will be varying from 1 to nth dimension right this is the most general form of dot vector you will see when you go into higher studies but for now on means for 11 12 you will be restricted to 3d space or 2d plane okay so just think about these things and how to take the component of a line 
a component of a vector on a line at a certain angle a dot b cap just practice some sums on that okay so now this video is getting a bit longer i am trying to keep the length of my videos a bit short so that it it is crisp and there is a lot of material and depth into a single topic okay so about the cross product we'll discuss in the next class okay now till then you practice the sums of the uh, dot product you will get lot of sums in hc warm up kindly do it if you are facing any problems please comment in the comment section and if you like the content of this video press the like button and please share it with whoever you find that it will be helpful for him or her and to stay tuned please subscribe to my channel okay subscribe is in red please press the subscribe and also press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i am giving the next video so that you can stay up to date okay okay guys so keep studying and loving and enjoying physics till then bye bye we'll meet you in the next class